Hi, this is Cindy Breelove, and I am so honored to share in the devotion and message for today. You may recall the childhood game, Follow the Leader. You know, during that game, you would mimic the actions of the other person in front of you. You know, whether we are at home or at work during this time of epidemic crisis, we get to choose to either be the leader and we get to choose who we follow. Our own children's directors have set up many ways to stay connected to our children. For instance, a scavenger hunt, an event that the children could do in their own homes, as well as our children's directors have delivered packages that have the lesson for the week with the Bible verses and lessons for the children to continue to learn in God's word all doing this while socially distancing, as well as our youth director has communicated in the way that our youth would prefer, which is due of the internet. So she set it up to where they could communicate as one big group, all being able to see each other while being connected via the internet. All of these ways are creative ways that our own church has reached out, not only to our families, but to our children during this epidemic time. We have taken the steps to play the real life game of follow the leader every day in our lives without even realizing it. As I had mentioned, we are leaders in our homes and in our communities by our actions and our words. You will find in the book of Elijah, there was a great leader named Cyrus. Now Cyrus is not a popular name or even a popular leader that you may have heard of. In fact, Cyrus did not write any chapters in the Bible. You know, typically there's not children's lessons about the leadership of Cyrus. And in fact, Cyrus is the type of leader that he's mentioned in the Bible 23 times but he's not that leader that we hear a lot about. In fact, there's no Christian songs even written about Cyrus. What makes Cyrus a great leader was his faithfulness to God. Cyrus trusted in God's direction. His leadership impacted the release of the Babylonians from captivity, and as well as rebuilding of the temple of Jerusalem all because Cyrus chose to follow God. Even if no one remembers our names or having a history lesson written about us during our leadership, the impact that we make each day carries on from generation to generation and household to household. My prayer is that each of us will trust in following God's directions for our lives. And we too, to step out in faith, just as Cyrus did, the impact could actually change the world. Be the example others want to follow. Let the world see how great our God is and how as followers, we can make a difference. So our Bible verse today comes from Isaiah 10, and I want to deliver this message a little differently for you today. Really focus on the word as each page is turned. I pray that these words and this message today makes a difference in your life. God bless.